Well, there have been 112 TDOT workers killed in the line of duty, and now that it is spring, there are even more road workers out along interstates and highways. To make sure they and you are safe, crews are using a new safety sign in certain work zones. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall shows us what it is. Brandon. Rory, this is it. This is an LED stop slow paddle and with a push of a button it blinks and the hope is that it'll make drivers more aware of stopping or slowing down in a work zone to avoid an accident. These pictures of a crash in Giles County show what happened after a driver plowed into stopped traffic in a TDOT work zone. A flag worker had to jump out of the way to avoid getting hit. Jay Norris with the Tennessee Department of Transportation says his employees are constantly aware incidents like this can happen on the job. But really, out of all the things we do, our flag and operations is the most dangerous. Norris says flaggers play a crucial role in a work zone site. They're our first line of defense when dealing with traffic, and so that, that is an incredibly dangerous job, and we really want to focus our resources and training toward making sure they're safe. In 2016, three TDOT workers, including a flagger, were hit and killed while working in traffic. Last year, the agency looked into safety resource upgrades after a flagger was hit in Fayette County. One of the new resources flaggers use are LED stop and slow paddles. I mean, we really want to focus our resources and training toward making sure they're safe. TDOT spent nearly $40,000 to have these paddles placed in each county in the state. The goal is to not only protect workers, but also drivers. A fun fact, Tennessee is the only state to use these LED signs. The upgrades come as we recognize National Work Zone Awareness Week and TDOT is making an initiative to just make remind drivers to move over for emergency vehicles and TDOT vehicles while driving. In Nashville tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.